Let's turn to the broader markets right now. And for that, we bring in Marianne Bartles. She's chief investment strategist at Sanctuary Wealth. Also, Michael Bappas, who is managing director at Rockefeller Capital Management. Um, Michael, why don't we start with you? Because you say when you're looking at things right now, you think stocks are poised to break out to the upside. What, what makes you think that? Yeah, it's interesting. There's been such a resiliency on, on stocks with, with the overhang and with the banking crisis. I just think earnings are coming in fairly strong. I mean, most companies are beating earnings uh, for, for, the first, for the first quarter of the year and in, into the second quarter. And I just think, you know, when, when things have finally settled down post-COVID, some of the companies are trying to figure out, okay, how, which employees do we keep, which employees don't we keep, but you still have an overall net positive job market for, for the financial sector. And I just think as long as there's no crazy more banking crisis uh, that, that hits you know, a lot stronger than we've already had, who would have thought that since 2008 happened, we would, have, we would even see this again in our, in our future. But I just think there's a resiliency to the markets and, and to earnings that, that you're going to see to continue to grow. And it's, it is going to be a stock picker's market, and it is going to be you know, active man management over passive management. But I, I just think we have a resiliency that's, that's going to stay strong. There are questions, Marianne, just about the strength of the economy. We've heard it from some of the retailers this week who have warned that they did see a slowdown in April that continued into May. Um, and you've got questions about what the Fed will do next. What, 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 are your, what are you thinking just overall about the economy, how that plays out with the market? Well, we've had you know signs that pockets of the economy are weak and parts of the economy are strong. Obviously, the consumer has been the strongest part, but we're starting to get some early signs that there might be a little bit of slowdown in consumer spending. But I think you know for the next few quarters, the economy can actually do pretty well. And um, you know, as Michael mentioned, you know, earnings weren't a disaster. Earnings yeah. came in much better uh, than the market uh, was anticipating. And we're really starting to see some positive movements uh, within the market. And I agree with Michael. I, I think the likelihood is, is that we're going to break to the upside, not necessarily because the fundamentals are so strong, but that everyone is positioned so negatively that there's really only one direction for the markets to go in, and, and that's higher. One question, Marianne. You, you think that we have seen the worst of inflation. We just had a conversation earlier this morning just wondering what the Fed will do next, because even at four and a half, five percent, inflation is still quite a bit stronger than the Fed would like to see. Um, what happens? Do you think they raise rates potentially at the next meeting? And if they do, would, you, would that worry you about the market's reaction? So, so, Becky, you're correct. You know, we are of the belief that uh, inflation has peaked, but, you know, it can be a zigzag. It doesn't mean it, it, it's, it goes down um, continuously. And we are seeing core, um, core numbers a little bit elevated. I think the Fed would like to stay um, kind of like on a hold, but they've left the window open that if data continues to come in a little bit um, hotter than they like, they'll have the ability to raise. But I think they're going to try to actually pause in here. And if we can get past the debt ceiling and not have hot inflation numbers, that's going to allow the markets to break to the upside. Michael, if you are, are thinking the market breaks out from here, but it's going to be a stock picker's market, what, what arenas do you think people should be focused on? Look, I think, I think you, you just have to look for the value in each arena. I, I, you know, there, there is oil, uh, energy, uh, banking, there's there's some value in the banks. I mean, it's just gotten beaten up as a sector so so badly, just just as a sector of the, uh, as a whole. So you can find value in a lot of these uh, sectors. But I just to to see that that the inflation is starting to slow down. The market usually precedes the economy by six to nine months, and and I just think towards the end of the year, you may even see rate cuts. Uh, and and it seems as though we've gotten the inflation under under control. Uh, at, at this current state, now it's going to. There's a why, lag effect. Why, why do you think? Why time. do you think that we'll see rate cuts by the end of this year? I mean, the, the market obviously has that bias built into it and thinks that that's the case. It's not the case from any of the Fed speakers we talked to, and we're just trying to figure out where the disconnect lies. Yeah, look, before before we came on, you mentioned the the the, the Treasury rates. I mean, to see the the two month and and, and two year at the rates they're at with such an inverted yield curve. It has to come back to the to the mean, and I think part of that is going to be you know natural market movement, but it's also we raised rates so fast so far 
that there's an element of this that has to revert back to the mean. And, and, and to see, uh, you know, it is nice to see yields on bonds because we haven't seen that in what, seven to 10 years. Uh, so people are getting good yields on the bonds. But again, it's a short term portion of the bonds that are, that are outperforming. And you, 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 you just see it revert back to the mean at some point. And I think yeah. that will that plus the Fed will they'll notice, look, we have to do something to, to at least stimulate the economy towards the end of the year. It, because you think the economy is going to, to fall that deep into a recession? I mean, I, it wouldn't I surprise me to see them pause. But, but uh, Yeah, I mean, rates. you're right. The, the pause is definitely happening. I don't think it's going to be a deep recession. I just think that the, that it usually reverts back. And, and look at the yields right now. I mean, we're looking at the two years, five, uh, two months is 515 compared to the, to the one year is 499. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a massive change that has to revert back.